So welcome. This is a exercise based on integrals, substitution, all the past paper questions from the previous years and some exercise questions also based exclusively based on substitution. So first question integral of 5 power x dx. So we shall do it out from basics to the higher level. So it becomes 5 power x upon ln 5 plus c. Then integral of x cube becomes x power 4 upon 4 plus 3 power x integral is 3 power x upon ln 3 plus c. Integral of secant square x is tan x plus c and integral of tan square x plus 1. It can be written as integral of secant square x. Tan square x is secant square x. Tan square x plus 1 is secant square x. Secant square x integral is nothing but what? Tan x plus c. Now it becomes 5 secant square x. 5 secant square x dx. So it becomes 5 tan x plus c. Now cosecant square x integral is minus cotangent x plus c. Then cotangent square x plus 1 can be written as cosecant square x. Integral of cosecant square x is minus cotangent x plus c. Then this becomes 5 cosecant square x dx. Cosecant square x dx will become minus 5 cotangent x plus c. Now secant x tan x integral is secant x plus c. And cosecant x cortex integral is minus cosecant x plus c. That's the first. So we are starting to learn the formula now, revising the formula, then proceeding further. Now we'll use the formula 1 upon a square plus x square dx is 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a. This is a formula. Everything should be converted into that form. So over here, what can I do? This 16 can be written as 4 square. So it becomes 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a x upon 4 plus c. But you can still see that 7 is there. So 7 upon 4. Similarly, this is integral of 7 upon 1 square plus 4x whole square dx. So it becomes 1 upon a means 7 is already there. So 7 upon a tan inverse x upon a 4x upon 1 times chain root 1 upon 4 plus c. So that's going to be the answer. 7 upon 4 tan inverse 4x. Now how do I write this one? Integral of 7 take it outside 1 upon 5 square plus 4x whole square dx. So it becomes 7 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a then the chain rule divided by 4 plus c. So one, what am I writing in red color are the most important steps which most of the students will tend to forget to write. Now, 7 outside integral of 1 upon square root of 2 whole square plus x square dx. So it becomes 7 upon root 2 tan inverse x upon root 2 plus c. That's going to be the answer. Now, how should I do this one now? So, 7 outside 1 upon root 2 whole square plus root 3x whole square dx. So what does it become? 7 upon a tan inverse x upon a root 3x upon root 2 times therefore 1 upon root 3 times 1 upon root 3 plus c. This is going to be the answer. So you can further simplify and write it out. That's going to be the final answer. Now, the next formula that we are dealing is root of a square minus x square dx is sine inverse of x upon a. So, this becomes 4 square minus x square. So, 7 sine inverse of sine inverse of x upon 4 plus c. Now, this can be written as 7 1 upon square root of 1 minus 4x whole square dx. So, what does it become? 7 sine inverse of 4x but don't forget to divide by 4 plus c chain rule now how do i write this one 7 outside 1 upon square root of 5 square minus 4x whole square dx so it becomes 7 upon 7 upon 4 sine inverse of 4x upon 5 so 
So sine inverse of x upon a plus c. So times 4x derivative is 4. So don't forget to write divide by 4. Now how do I write this one? 7 integral of 1 upon square root of square root 2 whole square minus x square bx. So what does it become? 7 sine inverse x upon a. x upon square root of 2 plus c. Next one. 7 outside. 1 upon square root of square root 2 whole square minus square root 3x whole square dx. So it becomes 7 upon square root 3 sine inverse root 3x upon root 2 plus c. That's going to be the answer. That's question number 3. Come to question number 4. Factorize x square minus 10x plus 24 and express this one in the partial fraction. So 2 upon, it can be written as x minus 6 times x plus 4. So what are the partial fractions? Part A, 2 upon x minus 6 times x plus 4 equals to A upon x minus 6 plus B upon x plus 4. Now, what do I get from that? 2 equals to a times x plus 4 plus b times x minus 6. Plug in x equals to 6. You will be getting it out a value as 1 and plug in x equals to negative 4. Then 2 equals to negative. Rather than the, the factors would have been x plus 4 x minus 4 times x minus 6. So x minus 4, x minus 4. Over here also, it should be x minus 4. Then plug in x equals to positive 4. Then what are you going to get it out? You are going to get it out minus 2b. So which is b equals to negative 1. So what are my partial fractions? 2 upon x squared. Don't forget to write this step. 10x plus 24 equals to 1 upon x minus 6 minus 1 upon x minus 4. Part b, write x square minus 10x plus 25 as a perfect square. x square minus 10x plus 25 can be written as x minus 5 whole square. Next one is x square minus 10x plus 26 as x minus h whole square plus k. x square minus 10x plus 26 should be equals to x minus 5 whole square plus 1. Next, part D, integral of all the three questions. So, first question, D, part 1, integral of 2 upon x square minus 10x plus 24, which will be nothing but what? 1 upon x minus 6 minus 1 upon x minus 4 dx. So, what does that become? ln x minus 6 minus ln x minus 4 plus c. So it becomes ln of x minus 6 upon x minus 4 plus c. Then coming to part 2, d part 2, integral of 2 upon x square minus 10x plus 25 dx. So what does it become? Integral of 2 upon x minus 5 whole square dx. So it becomes minus 2 upon x minus 5 plus c. Then part 3. Integral of 2 upon x square minus 10x plus 26 dx. So it becomes integral of 2 upon x minus 5 whole square plus 1 square dx. So it becomes 2 times 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a, x minus 5 upon 1 plus c. That's going to be the answer. Coming to question number 5. So I bring out 1 upon 3 outside in the first part and integral of e power 3x upon e power 2x mine plus 2 e power x upon e power 2x plus 4 upon e power 2x dx. So 
1 upon 3 it is integral of e power x plus 2 e power negative x plus 4 e power negative 2x dx so what does that becomes 1 upon 3 e power x integral is e power x e power minus x integral is minus e power minus x and it becomes minus 4 e power negative 2x upon 2 plus c so my final simplified answer will be 1 upon 3 e power x minus 2 upon 3 e power negative x minus 2 upon 3 e power negative 2x plus c this is going to be the answer for the part 1 now coming to part 2 so for part 2 the question was 4 power x upon 2 power x is 2 power x 2 power x upon 2 power x is 1 plus 2 power minus x i separated that one into three different fractions so 2 power x integral is 2 power x upon ln 2 1 integral is x then 2 power minus x integral is minus 2 power x upon ln 2 plus c this is answer for the part two question number six integral of tan square x tan square x can be written as secant square x minus 1 dx what is secant square x integral tan x tan x minus x plus c now integral of cot square x cot square x can be written as cosecant square x minus 1 dx so what is cosecant square x minus cot x minus x plus c question number 7 integral of 3 outside 1 upon x square plus 3 square dx so what will be the answer for that one 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a plus c 3 3 gets cancelled so just tan inverse of x upon 3 next part 2 3 outside 1 upon 3x whole square plus 1 square dx so it becomes 3 times 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a times again 1 upon 3 plus c so what am i going to get it out final answer tan inverse of 3x plus c question number 8 3 outside 1 upon square root of 3 square minus x square dx this is sine inverse sine inverse of x upon a plus c then again part 2 3 outside 1 upon square root of 1 minus 3x whole square dx so it becomes 3 sine inverse 3x upon 1 times 1 upon 3 plus c so 3 3 cancels so therefore the answer is going to be nothing but what just sine inverse of 3x plus c question number 9 7 upon x minus 1 whole square plus 4 so 4 can be written as 2 square so 7 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a plus c that is first part coming to the second part 7 outside 1 upon it can be written as 2 bracket x minus 1 whole square plus 1 so 7 1 upon a tan inverse of 2 bracket x minus 1 divided by a times 1 upon 2 plus c so my final answer is going to be 7 upon 2 tan inverse of 2x minus 2 plus c question number 10 this is again in the form of sine inverse so this 4 can be written as 2 square so 7 times sine inverse of x minus 1 upon 2 plus c then 7 outside 1 upon square root of 1 minus 2 bracket x minus 1 whole square dx so it becomes 7 upon 2 sine inverse of 2x minus 2 upon 1 plus c question number 11 find the integrals of a upon bx square plus c how should i do be doing it out so 
I take a and b common so it becomes x square plus c upon b dx so what is that I'm doing it out let me write it out neatly once again integral a upon b common so it becomes x square plus c upon b now dx so a upon b is outside integral of 1 upon x square plus square root of c upon b whole square so this is a upon b 1 upon a 1 upon square root of c by b times tan inverse of x upon a square root of c by b plus c so what does that becomes now it becomes directly i'm writing that answer it becomes a by square root of bc you have to do the simplification i'm directly writing tan inverse of square root of b x upon square root of c plus c that's going to be the answer for the first part so let me squeeze it out over there so that i can do the second part also that is the answer for the first part now we will do the second part for the second part what am i doing it on again i can take b common so a is outside then 1 dx upon square root of if at all i take b common it becomes c upon b minus x square dx so it becomes a upon square root b then integral dx upon square root of square root of c upon b whole square minus x square so it is nothing but what sine inverse so a upon square root b sine inverse x upon square root c by b plus c this is going to be the answer next question question number 12 show that both are equal so what am i going to do that my left hand side is x square plus 3x plus 12 divided by x times x plus 2 whole square and the denominator also on the right hand side is x times x plus 2 whole square equals to 3 times x plus 2 whole square minus 2 times x times x plus 2 minus 5 times x then x times x plus 2 x times x plus 2 whole square cancels they shall equal then now I have to simplify this one so what does that becomes 3x square I'm directly writing plus 12x plus 12 minus 2x square minus 4x minus 5x upon instead of cancelling i can keep x times x plus 2 whole square so you can clearly see that it is x square plus 3x plus 12 upon x times x plus 2 whole square i have to it out hence find the integral of this so we have to find it out already the partial fractions has been done for us so therefore i am doing the integral for that so for part 2 so integral of x square plus 3x plus 12 divided by x times x plus 2 whole square dx equals to integral of 3 upon x minus 2 upon x plus 2 minus 5 upon x plus 2 whole square dx so it becomes 3 ln x minus 2 ln of x plus 2 plus phi upon x plus 2 plus c this is going to be the answer question number 13 calculate the integral of this so first of all 6 upon x square plus 6x plus 8 can be written as 6 upon x plus 2 times x plus 4 so what does that becomes a upon x plus 2 plus b upon x plus 4 so 6 equals to a times x plus 4 plus b times x plus 2. So plug in x equals to negative 2 
we will be getting it out 2a equals to 6 which gives me a equals to 3 then x equals to negative 4 negative 2b equals to 6 so which gives me b equals to negative 3 so what will be the integral will become now integral will become 3 upon x plus 2 minus 3 upon x plus 4 dx so it becomes 3 ln of x plus 2 minus 3 ln of x plus 4 plus c so what does that becomes 3 ln of x plus 2 upon x plus 4 plus c this is going to be the answer question number 14 so it is 6 upon x plus 3 whole square plus 4 since of factorizing we can't factorize it out so therefore 6 upon x plus 3 whole square plus 4 so what does that becomes now integral of 6 upon x plus 3 whole square plus 2 square dx so it is 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a plus c so my final answer is going to be nothing but how much it's going to be 3 tan inverse of x plus 3 upon 2 plus c now the next one question number 15 we have to do the partial fractions for this so x plus 6 upon because we can factorize the denominator once i factorize the denominator i will be doing it out the partial fractions b upon x minus 2 so x plus 6 equals to a times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 4 so x equals to 4 so 10 a 10 equals to 2 a which implies a equals to 5 x equals to 2 8 equals to negative 2b it implies b equals to negative 4 so what will be the integral becomes now integral of 5 upon x minus 4 minus 4 upon x minus 2 dx so what does that becomes 5 ln x minus 4 minus 4 ln x minus 2 plus c next question number 16 I cannot factorize it out so rather than factorizing it out what am I doing it out if at all I factorize also I cannot convert into partial fraction so square root of I am directly writing it out over here 16 minus x plus 3 whole square dx so it is sine inverse 7 sine inverse of x plus 3 whole upon cell upon 4 plus c so how should I do negative x square negative 6x plus 7 take negative common x square plus 6x don't touch that 7 so minus x square plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 7 so it becomes minus of these three terms will become x plus 3 whole square minus 9 plus 7 expand it out minus x plus 3 whole square plus 9 plus 7 which becomes 16 minus x minus 3 x 16 minus x plus 3 whole square question number 17 so by doing the cross multiplication i get 3x square plus 4x plus 2 equals to a times x square minus 6x plus 8 plus bx plus c now comparing x square 3x square equal to ax square ax square equals to 3x square so a equals to 3 then comparing the x terms 4 minus 6a and b so 4 equals to negative 6a plus b so 4 equals to negative 12 plus b so what does that becomes now three a a is three right so it becomes 18 plus b so b equals to nothing but how much b equals to 22 then comparing the constants 2 8a and c 2 equals to 8a plus c 2 equals to negative or uh, 24 plus c so c equals to negative 22 so what will be the partial fractions now or what will be the fraction becomes like or looks like 3 plus 
22x minus 22 divided by x square minus 6x plus 8. Now we have to do partial fractions for this particular term. So what should I do there? 22x minus 22 upon x square minus 6x plus 8 equals to a upon x minus 2 plus b upon x minus 4. So 22x minus 22 equals to a times x minus 4 plus b times x minus 2. Now x equals to 2 so 22 equals to negative 2a implies a equals to negative 11 then x equals to 4 66 equals to 2b b equals to 33 so what will be the total integral will become integral of 3 plus 33 upon x minus 4 minus 11 upon x minus 2 dx so it becomes 3x plus 33 ln x minus 4 minus 11 ln x minus 2 plus c that's going to be the answer question number 18 use a substitution u equals to tan x and proceed further so if u equals to tan x du equals to secant square x dx so the first sum will become u power 5 du so which becomes u power 6 upon 6 plus c which is tan to the power of 6x upon 6 plus c second term secant square x dx is du upon square root of u so it becomes u to the power of 1 upon 2 upon 1 upon 2 plus c so it becomes 2 square root of u plus c which becomes 2 square root of tan x plus c then part 3 it becomes du upon e power u so it becomes e power negative u du which is nothing but what e power negative u upon negative 1 plus c so which becomes minus e power tan x negative tan x plus c and finally sine power phi upon cos to the power of 7 sine power 5 x upon cos to the power of 7 can be written as cos to the power of 5x times cos to the power of 2x so sine upon cos is tan so it becomes tan to the power of 5x times secant square x dx so it becomes again u to the power of 5 du so it becomes u to the power of 6 upon 6 plus c so what does it becomes tan x whole to the power of 6 upon 6 plus c that's going to be the answer question number 19 so we have to learn this one formula derivative of denominator is present in the numerator then ln denominator so tan x tan x can be written as sin x upon cos x dx so is nothing but what derivative of denominator should be present in numerator so minus is missing multiply by minus and minus so it becomes minus ln cos x derivative of denominator should be present in numerator whereas cot can be written as cos upon sin x so it becomes ln sin x then this becomes ln x square plus 7 plus c now multiply and divide by 6 so it becomes 1 upon 6 ln 3x square plus 7 plus c so multiply and divide by 9 so 1 upon 9 ln 3x cube plus 7 plus c now multiply and divide by 3x square derivative is 6x 5x derivative is 5 so it is already there so just directly ln of 3x square plus 5x plus 1 plus c e power x derivative is e power x only so it becomes ln of e power x plus 5 plus c now e power 2x derivative is 2e power 2x so 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 ln of 
e power 2x plus 5 plus c. Now find the indefinite integral by substitution u equals to e power x. So u equals to e power x. So du equals to e power x dx. So it becomes du upon u square plus 1. So it is 1 upon a tan inverse of u upon 1 plus c. So what does that becomes? Tan inverse of e power x plus c. Question number 21. 3x upon x plus 5. u equals to x plus 5. u equals to x plus 5. So du equals to dx. So 3 times x plus 5 is nothing more. x is u minus 5. x plus 5 is u du. So what does that become? 3 minus 15 upon u du. So 3 integral is 3u minus 15 ln u plus c. So it becomes 3 times of x plus 5 minus 15 times of ln x plus 5 plus c. Next part, it becomes integral of x is u minus 5 upon square root of u du. So it becomes u upon square root of u is square root of u minus 5 u to the power of negative 1 upon 2 du. So what does that becomes now? u per 3 upon 2 upon 3 upon 2 minus 5 u power 1 upon 2 upon 1 upon 2 plus c. So what does that becomes? 2 upon 3 u is x plus 5 whole power 3 upon 2 minus 10 x plus 5 whole power 1 upon 2 plus c. Next one is x squared upon part 3 integral of x squared upon x plus 5 dx x squared can be written as u minus 5 whole square upon u du. So what does that becomes? u square minus 10 u plus 25 divided by u du. So it becomes u minus 10 plus 25 upon u du. So it becomes u square upon 2 minus 10 u plus 25 ln u plus c. So it becomes x plus 5 whole square upon 2 minus 10 times of x plus 5 plus 25 times of ln of x plus 5 plus c. That's going to be the answer. So coming to question number 22, the question says, so use a substitution, u equals to x square plus 5. So du equals to x square derivative is 2x dx. Now the question is x cube. So I can write x cube as x square times x. Now but I want 2x dx. So multiply and divide by 2. And again I require x square. So x square is u minus 5. So what is this now entire question becomes now? 1 upon 2 u minus 5 times u power 5 2x dx is du. So what does it become? 1 upon 2 u power 6 minus 5 u power 5 du. So then it becomes 1 upon 2 u power 7 upon 7 minus 5 u power 6 upon 6 plus c. So what does that becomes now? u power 7 upon 14 minus 5 u power 6 upon 12 plus c. That's going to be the answer for the first part. Now coming to the second part. x cube upon square root of x square plus 5. x cube upon square root of x square plus 5 dx. So it becomes x times x square dx upon square root of x square plus 5. So what is x dx? Again 2 is missing. So multiplying and dividing by 2. So 1 upon 2. 2x dx is du. x square is u minus 5. 
divided by square root of u. So what does that becomes? 1 upon 2 u upon square root of u minus 5 upon square root of u du. So it becomes u upon square root of u. So u upon square root of u. So what does that becomes? 1 upon 2 integral of u power 1 upon 2 minus 5 u power minus 1 upon 2 du. So it becomes 1 upon 2 u power 3 upon 2 minus upon 3 upon 2 minus 5 u power 1 upon 2 upon 1 upon 2 plus c. So what does that becomes? 2, 2 gets cancelled. In the first case it becomes 1 upon 3 times x square plus 5 whole power 3 upon 2 minus 5 times x square plus 5 whole power 1 upon 2 plus c. That's going to be the answer. Part 2. Coming to part 3. x power 5 upon x square plus 5. So this is x power 5 upon x square plus 5 dx. Now, what should I do? x power 5 can be written as x power 4 times x dx upon x square plus 5. Now, x dx, 2 is missing, multiplying and dividing by 2. So, it becomes 1 upon 2 u minus 5 whole square. x power 4 is u minus 5 whole square du upon u. So, it becomes 1 upon 2 u square minus 10 u plus 25 divided by u du. So it becomes 1 upon 2 u square by u, u is u 10 minus 10 plus 25 upon u du. So 1 upon 2 u square by 2 minus 10 u plus 25 ln u plus c. So my final answer is going to be u square upon 4 minus 5 times u. 5 times u is nothing but what? x square plus 5 plus 25 upon 2 ln of x square plus 5 plus c. Now be careful over here. One more step, what am I doing it out is x square plus 5 upon 4 minus 5x square minus 25 plus 25 upon 2 ln of x square plus 5 plus c. Now c minus 25 is another constant, maybe plus c1. So my answer will be x square plus 5. x square plus 5 whole square upon 2 whole square upon 4 plus 25 upon 2 ln of x square plus 5 minus 5 x square plus c1. You can leave it at the earlier step also or this step is also fine. That's going to be the answer. Coming to question number 23 u equals to sin x is going to be the substitution. So u equals to sin x. So what does du becomes? Cos x dx. So remember that you should be able to get everything in terms of cos x dx. So first part cos cube x. Cos cube x dx can be written as cos square x times cos x dx. So you can see that this cos x dx can become du. But I have sin x. So what am I going to do this one? Cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x. So that I can do the substitution. 1 minus sin square x cos x dx. Now it becomes 1 minus u square du. What is 1 integral? u. And u square integral? u cube by 3 plus c. So which is sin x minus sin cube x upon 3 plus c. Next one is cos to the power of 5. Cos to the power of 5x dx can be written as cos to the power of 4x 
times cos x dx. Cos to the power of 4x can be written as 1 minus sin square x whole square times cos x dx. So it becomes 1 minus u square whole square du. So it becomes 1 minus 2u square plus u power 4 du. So 1 integral is u, u square integral is 2u cube by 3 plus u power 5 upon 5 plus c. So what is u again? Sin x minus 2 sin cube x upon 3 plus sin to the power of 5 upon 5 plus c. That's going to be the answer for question number 23. Now coming to question number 24 or part 3 is also that sin square x cos cube x. Integral of sin square x times cos cube x dx. So again it can be written as sin square x cos cube x can be written as cos square x times cos x dx. So sin square x cos square x is again 1 minus sin square x and cos x dx. Now what does that becomes now u times u square times 1 minus u square du. So it becomes u square minus u power 4 du. So what does it become? So u cube by 3 minus u power 5 upon 5 plus c. So which is sin cube x upon 3 minus sin to the power of 5x upon 5 plus c. That's going to be the answer. Now come to question number 24 x equals to 3 tan theta. So dx equals to 3 secant square theta d theta. So it becomes 1 upon 9 plus 9 tan square theta. dx is nothing but what? 3 secant square theta d theta. So 1 upon 9 common 1 plus tan square theta times 3 secant square theta d theta secant square theta and 1 plus tan square theta gets cancelled. 3 and 9 gets cancelled. So I am left over with 1 upon 3 d theta. So which is 1 upon 3 theta plus c. What is theta? Theta is tan inverse of x upon 3 plus c. This is a proof of that formula. Now again x equals to 3 sin theta. So dx equals to 3 cos theta d theta. Now plug in dx is 3 cos theta d theta divided by square root of 9 minus 9 sin square theta. So 3 cos theta d theta divided by 9 common square root of 9 is 3 1 minus sin square theta. 1 minus sin square theta is cos theta. Cos theta cos theta cancels and 3 and 3 gets cancels. I am left over only 1 d theta which is theta plus c. What is theta? Sin inverse of x upon 3 plus c. So based upon that formula directly we can do question number 25. So part 1 integral 1 upon x square plus root 2 whole square. So it is tan inverse formula 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a. Next for part a for part b x upon x square plus 2 dx. Derivative of denominator should be present in the numerator. So 1 upon 2 ln of x square plus 2. Then part c integral of x square upon x square plus 2 dx. So what can I do? I am going to add and subtract 2. So this becomes x square plus 2 upon x square plus 2 minus 2 upon x square plus 2 dx. So what does that becomes? 1 minus 2 upon x square plus 2 dx. 1 integral is x minus 2. This is tan inverse. 1 upon a 
tan inverse of x upon a plus c. This is the answer for part c. Part d. So for part d, let me add a page there. It is x cube upon x square plus 2. So there are multiple methods. I can write x square times x upon x square plus 2 dx. So why am I doing like that? u equals to x square plus 2. So du equals to 2x dx. 2 is missing. So multiply and divide by 2. So it becomes 1 upon 2. What is x square? x square is u minus 2. 2x dx is du divided by x square plus 2 is u. So it is 1 upon 2. u upon 2, u is 1 minus 2 upon u du. So what do I get from there? 1 times u minus ln u. What was u? u is nothing but what? x square plus 2 upon 2 minus ln x square plus 2 plus c. That's going to be the answer. Question number 27. Use an appropriate substitution. Now, what is the appropriate substitution? Let u equals to ln y. So du equals to 1 upon y dy. So what does it become? Integral of tan u du. Tan u integral is nothing but what? Minus log cosine u plus c. So minus ln cos of ln y plus c. This is going to be the answer. Question number 28. Again, I am going to substitute the same substitution u equals to ln y. So du equals to 1 upon y dy. So it becomes cot u du. Cot u integral is ln sin u plus c. Ln sin u sin of ln y plus c. Coming to question number 29 y equals to 2 minus x find the integral of this so what am i going to do the substitution y equals 2 minus x so dy equals to minus dx then what am i going to do that then again x equals to 2 minus y so i'm going to do in details numerator is x which is 2 minus y denominator is 2 minus x which is y whole square dx dx is nothing but what negative dy so it becomes integral of negative of 4 minus 4y plus y square upon y square dy so what does that becomes now minus integral of 4 upon y square plus or else still it is minus 4 upon y plus y square upon y square is 1 dy so what does that becomes now minus integral of 4 upon y square is negative 4 upon y minus 4 upon y integral is 4 ln y plus 1 integral is y plus c so again plug in it out my y as 2 minus x it becomes plus 4 upon 2 minus x my then plus 4 ln 2 minus x minus y plus c that's going to be the answer now coming to question number 30, substitution u equals to 1 upon 2x minus 1, hence or otherwise, find the integral of this. So u equals to 1 upon 2x plus 1. So du equals to 1 upon 2 dx. So dx equals to nothing but what? 2 du. Then again, 1 upon 2x equals to u minus 1. x equals to 2u minus 2. So what does that be? It becomes integral of 2u minus 2 square root of u and dx. What is dx? 2du. So what is the final answer will become? I can take 2 common from here. So and that 2 and this 2 becomes 4. 4 integral of u minus 1 times square root of u du. So it becomes 4 integral of u per 3 upon 2 minus u per 1 upon 2 du. So, which becomes 4 u per 5 upon 2 upon 5 upon 2 minus u per 3 upon 2 upon 3 upon 2 
plus c so it becomes 8 upon 5 u is nothing but what 1 upon 2x plus 1 whole power 5 upon 2 minus 8 upon 3 1 upon 2x plus 1 whole power 3 upon 2 plus c that's going to be the answer question number 31 Use the substitution u equals to x plus 2 and find this one. So, u equals to x plus 2. So, du equals to dx and x equals to nothing but what? u minus 2. So, what does that become? u minus 2 whole cube divided by u square. dx is nothing but what? du. Now, expand it out. u minus 2 whole cube is u cube minus 6u square plus 12u minus 8 upon u square du so now divide it out u cube by u square is u u du minus 6 du plus 12 1 upon u du minus 8 u power negative 2 du so it becomes u square upon 2 minus 6 u plus 12 on u plus 8 upon u plus c so what is u again x plus 2 so it becomes x plus 2 whole square upon 2 minus 6 up 6 times of x plus 2 plus 12 ln of x plus 2 plus 8 upon x plus 2 plus c that's going to be the answer now question number 32 use the substitution x equals to root 5 sine theta so dx equals to root 5 cosine theta so now what does that substitution become square root of 5 minus root 5 whole square root 5 sine theta whole square times dx dx is nothing but what root 5 cosine theta d theta so it becomes square root of 5 minus 5 sine square theta times root 5 cosine theta d theta so integral of square root of 5 common 1 minus sine square theta root 5 cosine theta d theta so this is square root of 5 square root of 5 will become 5 and 1 minus sine square theta is nothing but what cos square theta so square root of cos square theta times this cosine theta is there as it is d theta so cosine theta and square and square root gets cancels cosine theta times cosine theta is cosine square theta so it becomes 5 integral of cosine square theta d theta so 5 cosine square theta d theta can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 so from here it becomes 5 integral of 1 plus cos 2 theta upon 2 d theta so 5 upon 2 1 integral is theta cos 2 theta integral is sine 2 theta upon 2 plus c so 5 upon 2 theta what is theta we know that x equals to root 5 sine theta so theta equals to sine inverse of x upon root 5 so it becomes 5 upon 2 sine inverse of x upon root 5 plus sine 2 theta what is sine 2 theta 2 sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta upon 2 plus c so final answer it becomes phi upon 2 sine inverse of x upon root 5 plus 2 and 2 gets cancels phi upon 2 sine theta sine theta is x upon root 5 times cosine theta which is 1 minus sine square theta plus c so we want to further simplify it out it becomes 5 upon 2 sine inverse of x upon root 5 plus 5x upon 2 root 5 times 5 minus x square upon root 5 then root 5 times root 5 is 5 5 and 5 gets cancels this is going to be the final answer x upon 2 square root of 5 minus x square plus c question number 33 x equals to 4 sine square theta so the substitution is x equals to 4 sine square theta so dx equals to 8 sine theta 
sin theta derivative is cosine theta d theta. So now the question becomes square root of x. x is 4 sin square theta divided by 4 minus x. 4 sin square theta times dx. dx is nothing but what? 8 sin theta cosine theta d theta. Then 4 common in the denominator, 4, 4 gets cancels. So integral of square root of sin square theta 1 minus sin square theta times 8 sin theta cosine theta d theta. 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. Square root of cos square theta is cos theta. So it becomes sin theta upon cosine theta times 8 sin theta cosine theta d theta. We can cancel cosine theta and cosine theta. I will be getting it out 8 sin square theta. Integral of 8 sin square theta d theta. We know that 8 sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 d theta. So it becomes 4 integral of 1 minus cos 2 theta d theta. So 4 integral of 1 is theta, cos 2 theta is nothing but what? sin 2 theta upon 2 plus c. So it becomes 4 theta minus 4 sin 2 theta, sin 2 theta is nothing but what again? 2 sin theta cos theta divided by 2 plus c. So 2 and 2 gets cancels, 4 theta. What is theta? Theta is nothing but what? From here, we can get theta as x upon 4 square root sine inverse, sine inverse of square root of x upon 2. So it becomes 4, 4 sine inverse x upon square root of 2 minus 4 sine theta. Sine theta is square root of x upon 2 times cos theta, which is 1 minus sine square theta. So plus c sine square square of x upon root 2 is x upon 4 sine square theta is x upon 4 so what is my final answer is going to be nothing but how much 4 sine inverse of x upon root 2 minus 4 root x upon 2 times square root of 4 minus x upon 2 plus c 2, 4 and 4 gets cancelled. That's going to be a final answer. Question number 34. Show that both are equal. So take the left hand side. It becomes x squared plus 4 minus x times x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 times x squared plus 4. So what does that become? x squared plus 4 minus x squared plus 2x divided by x minus 2 times x square plus 4. x square x square gets cancelled and we can see that it is 2x plus 4 upon x square plus 4 plus x minus 2. Now integral of this one. So integral will be integral of 1 upon x minus 2 minus x upon x square plus 4. For the second part, derivative of denominator should be present in numerator. So first of all, what I will do, write the integral separately x minus 2 dx minus integral of x upon x square plus 4 dx multiply and divide by 2 so it becomes ln of x minus 2 minus 1 upon 2 ln of x square plus 4 plus c that's going to be the answer next integral of e power x upon e power x plus 1 upon e power x dx so which will become integral of 1 plus e power minus x dx integral of 1 is x e power minus x integral is minus e power x plus c next for the second part we can see that derivative of denominator is present in the numerator so it's going to be ln denominator ln e power x plus 1 plus c Question number 36, let u equals to e power x, so du equals to e power x dx, so it becomes du upon 
u square plus 4 which is 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a plus c so what is u again tan in e power x 1 upon 2 tan inverse e power x upon 2 plus c question number 37 3 power x equals to u so du equals to 3 power x ln 3 dx so the question is 3 power x dx upon 3 power x whole square plus 3 square so ln 3 is missing so multiplying and dividing by ln 3 so now the numerator becomes du 1 upon ln 3 du divided by u square plus 3 square so what does that becomes 1 upon a tan inverse u upon 3 so the final answer is 1 upon 3 ln 3 tan inverse 3 power x upon 3 plus c question number 40 2x equals to sin 2 theta, sin theta find this one use substitution so 2x equals to sin theta so 2dx equals to sin theta derivative is cos theta d theta so it integral of square root of 1 minus 2x whole square which is sin square theta dx is cos theta d theta so it becomes square root of 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta square and square root gets cancels it becomes cos theta cos theta d theta so we can see that square and square root gets cancels cos theta times cos theta is but over here we forgot to write by 2 so 1 upon 2 so 1 upon 2 cos square theta d theta so it becomes 1 upon 2 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta so it becomes 1 upon 4 theta plus sine 2 theta upon 2 plus c now from there 1 upon 4 theta what is theta sine inverse of 2x plus 1 upon 8 sine 2 theta sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta plus c so my final answer is going to be 1 upon 4 sine inverse of 2x plus 1 upon 4 sine or we cannot no need to write it as because 2 sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta and uh, or else what we can do is 1 upon 4 sine theta what is sine theta sine theta is 2x times cos theta is 1 minus sine square theta 1 minus 4x square plus c so the final answer is going to be 1 upon 4 sine inverse of 2x plus 1 upon 2 x square root of 1 minus 4x square plus c by using an appropriate substitution find integral of sine cube x so what is the substitution i'm going to use u equals to cos x u equals to cos x so du equals to negative sine x dx so sine cube x can be written as sine square x times sine x dx sine square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x times sine x dx so it becomes 1 minus u square sine x dx is minus du so it becomes u square minus 1 du which becomes u cube by 3 minus u plus c so which is cos cube x by 3 minus cos x plus c question number 40 by using the substitution u equals to sin x u equals to sin x so du equals to sin x derivative is nothing but what cos x dx so now i have sin cube x cos cube x can be written as cos square x times cos x dx cos x dx is du and sin cube x is nothing but what u cube cos square x is 1 minus sin square x cos x dx is nothing but what du so what does that becomes now u cube minus u power 5 
du. So what does that become? U power 4 upon 4 minus u power 6 upon 6 plus c. So which is sine power 4 upon 4 minus sine power 6 upon 6 plus c. This is going to be the answer. Question number 41. So this is 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a from 0 to 2. So plug in 2. So it becomes tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0. So tan inverse of 1 is pi upon 4. Tan inverse of 0 is 0. So answer is going to be pi upon 8. Then this is also 1 upon 2 tan inverse of x upon 2 from 0 to k equals to pi upon 6. So 1 upon 2 tan inverse of k upon 2 minus tan inverse of 0 equals to pi upon 6. So 1 upon 2 tan inverse of k upon 2 equals to pi upon 6. So tan inverse of k upon 2 equals to pi upon 3. So from there k upon 2 equals to tan of pi by 3. So k upon 2 equals to root 3. So k equals to 2 root 3. So question number 43, tan inverse of x from a to a square equals to 0 0.22. So tan inverse of a square minus tan inverse of a minus 0 0.22 equals to 0. Use your GDC, you will be getting it out a value as 2.04 and a value as 2.62. Now u equals to e power x, so du equals to e power x dx, lower limit u equals to e power 0, so u equals to 1, upper limit u equals to e power ln 3, so u equals to 3. So what will become now 1 to 3 du upon u square plus 3 square, so it becomes 1 upon 3 tan inverse of u upon 3 from 1 to 3. So 1 upon 3 tan inverse of 3 upon 3 minus tan inverse of 1 upon 3. So tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 minus tan inverse of 1 upon 3. This is going to be the answer. Question number 45. x equals to 2 sin theta. So dx equals to 2 cos theta d theta. Lower limit 0 equals to 2 sin theta. Theta equals to 0. Upper limit 2 equals to 2 sin theta. So theta equals to pi by 2. So the question becomes 0 to pi upon 2 square root of 4 minus 4 sin square theta dx is nothing but what 2 cos theta d theta now 4 common square root of 4 is nothing but what 2 so 0 to pi upon 2 2 square root of 1 minus sin square theta times 2 cos theta d theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta square root of cos square theta is cos theta so it becomes 2 0 to pi upon 2 cos square theta d theta so 2, 0 to pi upon 2, 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 d theta. 2 and 2 gets cancels. 1 integral is theta. Cos 2 theta integral is sine 2 theta divided by 2. So my answer, see carefully over there. I got it out over here. This has 4. So one more. 2 is left over. So my final answer is going to be 2 theta plus sine 2 theta from 0 to pi by 2. So 2 times of pi by 2 plus sine. 2 times of pi by 2 means sine pi minus 
0 plus sin 0 is 0. So, pi plus sin pi is going to be nothing but what again? 0. So, answer is pi plus 0. Answer is going to be pi. Question number 46. Now, substitution x equals to sin square theta. If x equals to sin square theta, so dx equals to 2 sin theta. Sin theta derivative is cos theta. Then lower limit, 0 equals to sin square theta. So theta equals to 0. Upper limit, 1 upon 2 equals to sin square theta. So sin theta equals to 1 upon root 2. Theta equals to pi upon 4. 0 to pi upon 4, square root of x. Sin square theta by 1 minus sin square theta dx. dx is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta. Now 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. Square root of cos square theta is cos theta. Cos theta cos theta cancels. Square and square root gets cancels. So what am I going to get it out? 2 integral of 0 to pi upon 4 sin square theta d theta. Sin square theta is again nothing but what? 1 minus cos 2 theta. 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 d theta. So 2 and 2 gets cancels. 1 integral is theta. Cos 2 theta integral is sin 2 theta upon 2 plus c. But the limits are 0 to pi upon 4. So now substitute the upper limit. When I substitute the upper limit, it becomes pi upon 4 minus 1 upon 2 sine 2 times pi upon 4 is pi by 2 minus 0 minus 0. So what should be the final answer? Pi upon 4 minus 1 upon 2 times 1 which is pi upon 4 minus 1 upon 2. That's going to be the answer. So that completes the video. See you in the next video. Bye.